And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What's up, party people? It is time for DFW Real Estate, where we talk all things DFW Real Estate. We'll take your questions. We've got all kinds of goodies to share with you today. We're going to dig into many things that I said I would never do in relation to my real estate decision-making, my personal real estate decision-making, things I said I would never do in all the things I said I would never do that I have done just in the last few years. Feels like a whirlwind, folks. The world is changing. Real estate is changing. I'm changing. I think I may be growing up, Courtney. I don't know what's happening. There, Someone might have sprinkled a little bit of maturity in there. I'm not trying to claim that I've got it figured out, but I've learned some things. I've made some mistakes, and I'm willing to share with our friends the mistakes and the learning and really the fun that doing some things I swore I would never do has brought into my life, my family's life, and maybe even our company and client's life. Oh, no. That's okay. He splashed his coffee. I did spill it. I am coffee. personally really looking forward to today's show. I'm looking forward to you looking forward to today's show. And I hope we deliver on it. I hope I meet your expectations. Courtney, I'm currently going to use uh, this piece of paper to uh, clean, Mop up, it up. clean up this coffee. That's what live radio does, folks. Can't go get it uh, we're not. We're not editing this out. <laughs> Welcome to DFW Real Estate. I am Todd Tremonti. We'll take your questions. 214-310-0008. By the way, when I say send us your questions, what I mean by that is actually send us your questions. So if you're sitting there and you're annoyed by something in and around your real estate, what you rent, what you own, what you pay, what you want to improve, change, protest, call us. We want to help you. If I ran into you at a concert, not a T-Swift concert, I don't do that sort of thing, Courtney. It's been a, I'm spending a down payment, house down payment on concert tickets. But don't you have FOMO? No. Not on that oh. one. I have I have had fear of missing out 97.6% of my entire life, but not on that. We can talk about that later. That's not where I feel the feels on missing out. Anyway, if you have a question about, should I buy that? Should I improve that? Should I sell? Should I rent? Should we invest? Call us. We want to help you. If I bumped into you at a concert, at the grocery store, or whatever, I want you to be like, that dude's made my life better. He's, he's helped me answer hard questions. His team, his company are fun to engage with, and they're really, really helpful. So if we can help you, let us help you. Call 214-310-0008. And then if right now you're like, nope, I don't really need anything, save that phone number in your cell phone. Just save it under Todd Tremonti, broker, realtor, whatever. And then when you have real estate needs or questions, text us or call us. We're here to help. 214 310 Zero 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 eight or online, just like my son says. ToddTremontiTeam.com. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com. And look, if, you, if you're if you not even in the memorizing mood and you don't remember any of that, just Google my name, spell it as best you can, and you'll find us. And do not be afraid to ask us for help. For the name of a roofer, for a lender, plumber, electrician. Is now a good time to buy or sell? How should I value my property? Any of that stuff. Just go to ToddTremontiTeam.com. Okay. We are going to dig into many of the things I swore I would never do, but have done. Before we do that, I want to remind you that if you're, if you're a little bit overwhelmed right now about mortgage rates, you would like to buy a home, you'd like to buy a rental property, you'd like to buy a short-term rental maybe, maybe even flip a property because you are logically seeing all the opportunity in our current market. But the mortgage part has you confused. Somebody told you that you'd have to put down 25 or 30% on an investor loan. Somebody told you that the rates would be too high. Would you do me a favor and not make your wealth building, family protecting real estate decisions based on the rumors and the what ifs and the things you see on the front page of websites? Would you just call the best lender I know? Would you call Patrick Glaros at 972-728-3420 or online, just visit his website, at patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S. Patrick Glaros is the only mortgage lender I have personally used in 20 years. 
period. And I've used them many times for personal business, investment business. And the only time I've used anyone except for him is when he said, hey, for that unique thing, you should use this person. And he's always connected me with somebody. His team is built very similarly to ours where people are put in a position to use their unique God-given gifts to deliver world-class value to the client. If you're borrowing for a mortgage, uh, if you're refinancing, if you're buying a personal home, an investment home, in-state, out-of-state, go to patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. That's NMLS number 308804 for Patrick Glaros and his team over at Cardinal Financial. All right, Courtney, I got a list of things I swore I would never do. Where should we start? I, go ahead. You got something on top of your mind? Okay. I swore I would never put in a swimming pool. And you know what I did? I put in a swimming pool. Now, here's the thing. Some of that was absurdly carefully calculated, and we can talk about that. You can poke at it with some questions. And a little bit of it was blind luck. And the blind luck part that got me over the hump, because honestly, even after I did it, I was like, I don't know what we just did. I can't believe we did this. What got me over the hump was COVID-19. We put in our pool. It was finished August of 2019, right? So we were just starting to use it late summer 19, early 20. The world went nuts. And no one could leave their house and no one was allowed to talk to people or have friends or socialize in any physical environment. And we swam and we swam and we swam and we hot tubbed and we swam and we invited friends over and we said, y'all can swim from 10 a.m. to one and then you have to leave and we have to Clorox bomb everything. And then other friends will come over from like two to five and then you have to leave and we'll look at you through the window and our kids will wish they could come out and play. And then from five of that, we will swim. And it was like, I was so glad we had a swimming pool. And we have the property type. And this is part of the calculus of like, why did we do it when I've been telling radio listeners and friends and clients and neighbors for 20 years, don't put in a pool, buy a house, let someone else put in the pool, buy one that already has a pool. Because the math still is like really hard to line up. You're going to, now a pool's like, 80,000 plus used to be like 30,000 plus. And I would just say, look, if you have a $400,000 house and you put in a $50,000 pool, you do not have a 450,000. It's just not the way it works. There are some unique exceptions. And the truth is my property is more of an exception than most, meaning we have a huge lot. We have acreage. And so if someone buys that lot and they're like, well, you have basketball court and greenhouse and ponds, like, why don't you have a pool? All of a sudden, you have all these peripheral things, and it's like, well, now I'm expecting a pool, and I would pay a little bit more for a pool because I'm the type of buyer that wants all the outdoor fun. So that is part of why I leaned in and was willing to do it, but I have no delusions that I'm going to get every dollar back that I put into that pool. That was a lifestyle investment, right? That was about fun with my wife and kids and friends and neighbors and baseball teams and cheerleading squad, like come over and do the party here. We want to love on our friends and neighbors. That was not about if I spend a dollar, can I get a dollar 50 back? So I swore I would never put in a pool. We did. And we've been really, really happy with our decision, but the gap between brand new pool and COVID, I was still nervous about it. So has my advice changed for our friends and listeners on put in a pool? Not really. I know that sounds like that I'm special and I can break my own rules, but if you have a unique property type where you're deeply invested in outdoor living and the idea that the, the next person that buys this house is going to buy it as much for the outside as the inside, then I would say, yes, the rules don't apply quite as staunchly. Is that a word? Quite as aggressively to you. Because your next buyer might actually value this stuff a little bit more. If your house is built on like gardens or ponds or walkways or trails, and and clearly the person that's buying it wants that. It's not like, oh, cool, nice bonus. It's like, no, that's a big piece of the value of this property. Then a pool, you might get more dollar value back out of that pool investment. Still, 
way better financially if the previous owner did that and you're just buying what they did because you're not going to pay full value for what they put in and now you're good now when you go sell it what you sell for will be relative to what you paid for it the difference is i have a massive expense in the ground that my buyer is probably not going to pay for it now if i stay long enough and i do other things i'll net out fine on my property but it's not going to be directly tied to that pool i still believe that i still believe i'll never get the money that exact money back and it will never that money will not grow it will it will depreciate. So that's one of them. I swore I'd never put in a pool. I did. I'm glad we did, but I know I'm never going to get that money back. Um, I want to talk to people about PMR roofing really quickly. Uh, they're putting a the roof. They've already done most of it on a property that we're invested in right now. Um, and they're just amazing people, right? There's not a lot of roofing companies, I would say, and they're just amazing people. I would say, you know, they put on a good roof. Um, PMR puts on a great roof. They have every option you could ever imagine where not all roofers do. They will never sell you something you don't need. But if you do need it, they will help you make the right choice for your budget, for your property, uh, considering your insurance needs and your lifestyle. Call PMR Roofing at 214-957-0839 or much easier to remember. Just go to pmrroofing.com. It's actually a very, very good website. pmrroofing.com. Ask for Jordan. Let them know that Todd Tremonti sent you. They'll take really good care of you. We are not out of hail season. Um, springtime is the typical hail season. Obviously, just this week, we had tornado warnings in our area. We had high winds. We had heavy rain. All those things can put a stress on your roof, especially after hot, dry seasons and hot, dry years. Um have your roof checked out now so you don't have a disaster later. PMRroofing.com. Okay. Here's one more thing I swore I would never do, and I did, and that is to send my kids to private school. And here's why we're talking about that on a real estate show. Schools have a ton to do with where we buy homes, right? You buy a home for a district. You buy a home for a specific elementary, junior high, high school, intermediate, whatever. Um, and we live in an area where we were happy with the schools for a period and thought we might shop them at a different life stage and kids age and all those things. And we did that. We were not escaping anything when we went to a private school and we went to a university model. We did it because we loved it. it the, the private school was offering some things the public school could never offer. And we were thrilled by it. We weren't escaping anything. We weren't angry about anything. We weren't running away from anything, but a lot of people are. And so I know more people that have moved to homeschool, private school, co-op, university model, um, classical model. I know more people that have made that choice in the last three or four or five years that also swore they would never do that than at any other point in my life, any other point in my 20 plus years in real estate. And that some of that is political. Some of that is faith driven. Some of that is just like the economy has been good generally. And people were able to afford it more than they had in the past. Courtney's picking up the microphone. Y'all brace yourselves. Um, but the reason I bring it up, what, what, what really got us over the hump was for us, we loved the ability to actually be more involved in our kids' education. It was less about, the district or the policies and things like that. Although we have opinions on those things too. It was about for us that the university model, our kids go to school three days a week and they're with us a couple days a week. And honestly, we love our kids. They're cool kids. We get to hang out with them more. We get to be more part of the education. And for us, their spiritual development. We get to be more actively involved in discipling them more time. We believe we are the primary people. That is our job. It's not the school's job. It's not even the church's job. There's their resources to supplement us. And so for us, that was why we did it. And we love it. We've been really, really happy with it. Um, but it's relevant to real estate. And here's the big reason. If the school district and where your children are zoned or drawn into school is not as important to you, there's actually a lot of real estate opportunity out there for you to move to an area where the schools aren't quite as established or where maybe that's 
Schools are not the reason people typically move there. So you have more affordability or you can live closer to something you would want where you normally would not want to live there based on the schools. Now, let me be very clear. People choose schools for lots of different reasons and the client is in charge. You choose based on what you want. What I want is none, you know, I don't need to share that with you unless you want that advice. And I still might not. But my point is, I swore I would never do that because we love public schools. We pay taxes to public schools. Um, but our life allowed and dictated for us a different approach. And we made some different real estate choices because of that. Does that make sense? Totally. I, we just get a lot of questions about yeah. areas to move based on schools. And I've just noticed that you don't comment terribly on that. And I just thought you could talk more about why and how do people find out the information that they want about yeah. schools? So this is a, this is one of the things that honestly, a lot of real estate agents and brokers get wrong. And what I mean by this is we're, we're regulated by the state, right? We have a license to sell real estate or a license to be a broker and supervise salespeople. And due to anti-discrimination laws and ethical boundaries and code of ethics, there, there are limitations to what we can say and do. And so a, a, in my opinion, and certainly based on the letter of the law, a, a good agent and broker can give you some information, but can't give you some other information in relation to, hey, we like this kind of school. Great. Here are some resources where you can identify schools you like and schools you don't like. Once you've done that, then I can help you research, find, connote, negotiate, all those things on that real estate in those areas. What I have to be very careful to participate in is, and let me, I'm going to say something that sounds insane in a second. Let me just preface that. But it might blow your mind some of the things clients and prospective clients have told us over the years. I've had people say, I'm this kind of ethnicity or language or socioeconomic group, and I don't want to live by anyone else like that. You're like, what? Or they'll say, I'm this kind of socioeconomic status, race, ethnicity, language, background, and I will only live by other people like me. By the way, it's a free country. Those people can do that. I can absolutely not say, hey, this is a neighborhood where this kind of person lives, right? What I can say is here's a website that can give you demographic, in, in income information, test scores, all that kind of stuff. That's public data. Here's a link, go investigate, and then you can tell me where you want to live. We are not able to say you should want to live here. I would not want to live over there. A, that's kind of cruddy. B, we're literally not allowed to do that. And so we're very, very, very careful. So that's why a lot of the times we don't answer some of those educational or um, income or race and ethnicity type questions as directly. It's not because we don't want to serve clients and, and our listeners. It's because ethically we cannot. And sometimes to be honest, it stifles the client's process. They're, 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 they're part of the process of discerning what they want. Now we can help them figure out what they want, meaning just ask them some good questions that help them be more thoughtful. You know, why, why is that important to you? Tell me why you like this area over that area. And your answer can be your answer, whether it's sounds loving or not. It's a free country. You can do what you want. And I can help you clarify that some. But my, I know that's a long answer because it's a careful answer, but that's why we're not always like, this area is better than that area. Different people want and like different things. So that's the short answer. Okay, before we jump into some other things that I've done related to real estate with my family that I swore I would never do, if you've got questions, call or text right now, 214-310-0008 or go online to... Dutchermoneyteam.com. And if you have not checked the value of your property in the last 30 days. I want to invite you to go to toddtremonteteam.com right now and click on, in, in the menu, click on home value. You can find out what your home would sell for or rent for right now in less than 60 seconds. No exaggeration. Find out what your home would sell for in the current market or rent for in the current market in under a minute. Just go to toddtremonteteam.com and click on the value button. Go ahead. I did it the other day. How'd you feel? And within 
three seconds, my very own teammate called to check on me, make sure that I, if I had any questions, now, <laughs> it was, he was amazing. Now, here's the thing. We will not call you and bombard you if you don't want us to. This is a free automated tool. If you get the, uh, now you're a team member, so they were having some fun with you. But if, if you get that automated response and it's not, there, there's a confidence score that comes with it. So if the confidence score is like below 95 or whatever you're happy with, then you could reply and say, could I get a custom valuation? You know, can I, can I talk to someone about a more detailed value? And then we'll call you and say, okay, tell me a little bit more. Have you updated anything? That kind of deal. The automated valuation is really accurate unless the automated data is not accurate, right? So it might, the automated data might say it's a three bedroom and not know that you add it on to your house. And that's where you can help us be a little bit more accurate. But uh, yes, we will go way out of our way at no charge to you to be as helpful as we possibly can um, to help you get good value really, 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 really fast. So go to toddtremonteteam.com, click on the menu, click property values, home values, value tool, whatever you want to do there. Uh, and find out what your home would sell for or rent for right now. While you're on the site, you can search every house for sale by every real estate agent in all of DFW. All of it is right there at ToddTremonteTeam.com. ToddTremonteTeam.com. If you can't spell it, just Google it and it will help you find it. Uh, ToddTremonteTeam. Dot com. If you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in residential real estate right now, we offer what we call a free strategy session. You don't have to pay anything. You don't, you don't have to obligate yourself to anything. We can do that by Zoom or we can sit down with you in our Fort Worth office or our Richardson office. We'll buy you a cup of coffee, Topo Chico, Coke or Dr. Pepper, whatever you're into. We'll answer your questions. Just try to help you get clarity and get comfortable about should you buy? Should you sell? Should you wait? Should you be in a hurry? What do you need to do to protect yourself from some of the big pitfalls in the marketplace? And of course, what do you need to do to take advantage of the big opportunities in the market? And there are really great opportunities in the market right now. If you would like a free strategy session with one of our full-time, fully dedicated, specialized real estate agents, call 214 310-0008, or you could text us right now, 214-310-0008. Just text strategy session. You can text us whatever you want. But if you just text the word strategy session to 214-310-0008, someone on our team, maybe even the English wonder himself, Ian, will get back to you and set up a time to talk, to answer your questions, to point you towards a professional uh, or maybe if you're ready to help you buy or sell a home, there will be there will be no heavy, aggressive pressure to do that if now is not the right time for you to do that. Call or text 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremonteteam.com. Toddtremonteteam.com. Or just Google my name, Todd Tremonte. Spell it as best you can. We'll help you as best we can. Welcome back, party people. Welcome back to DFW Real Estate. Thanks for hanging with us through the break. And if you're just now tuning in, this is DFW Real Estate. And we talk all things residential real estate across the Metroplex. If you missed the first part of the show, or if you miss any part of the show, what you want to do is go check your Apple podcasts and hunt down DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti and listen to every single second of every single episode to be up to date on DFW Real Estate. I'm just playing with you. Go check them out whenever you miss us, or you can search the podcast by some of the topics that we cover on the show. And so maybe you want to watch some or listen to some more than the others. Speaking of watching, if you go to ToddTremonteTeam.com, you can click on the videos tab on the menu, and then you can see videos of past radio shows, as well as hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of educational videos, including some short one minute videos and some longer ones about different areas of town, different aspects of real estate, uh, definitions of terminology, some quick tips on how to buy and sell, protect yourself and your family, take advantage of all the opportunities. Just go to ToddTremonteTeam.com. You can click on videos. You can click on property value. You can even click a button to get an immediate cash offer on your home. All of that happens at ToddTremonteTeam.com. The first segment of every 
radio show that we do is brought to you by Patrick Glaros and his mortgage team over at Cardinal Financial. If you're thinking mortgage at all, buy, buy investment property, refinance, drop your PMI payment, then you want to be talking to Patrick Glaros and his team. You can go to their website at patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com, uh, or you can call 972-728-3420. And if you would like some more numbers in your brain, their NMLS number is 308804, patrickglaros.com, for all your mortgage needs. Okay, if you have questions, you know the drill. Do not keep those questions in your brain. Don't go Google them. I mean, you're welcome to go Google them, but you don't need to do that. We would love to give you the best, most accurate, most recent, most local answer to your real estate-related questions. All you got to do is call or text 214-310-0008. And you can do that right now while you're listening to the show, or you could do it throughout the week, and we will still gladly get you an answer to your real estate questions. 214-310-0008. You should just save that in your phone under Todd Tremonti, broker, realtor, whatever you want, 214-310-0008. When you're ready, we will gladly set you up for a free strategy session where you don't have to pay anything or sign anything. If you don't want to, you can come into our Fort Worth office or our Richardson office, or we could set that up on Zoom and we can help you get clarity around should you buy, should you sell, should you remodel, should you protest your taxes, any of those things. We really, really do love simply adding value in your life. Of course, if you need to buy or sell or invest, and if we're the right fit, we'd love to earn your business and your trust and your referrals and your introductions to your friends and family and neighbors. But we're not always a fit and you're not always ready to buy or something. We want to be a valuable resource to you, even if you're not in one of those buying or selling situations. Call us 214-310-0008 or go online like my son says, to toddtremontiteam.com. If all else fails and you don't remember anything, just Google my name, get as close as you can. You'll find us. We're happy to help. All right. I've said over the years, Courtney, I will never do that lots of times. One of the ones I felt maybe most certain about, I'll never put in a swimming pool was up there. We talked about that earlier in the show. But I said I will never build a house. And what I meant by that is like, I will never deal with the process of building a home. And I definitely meant I'll never deal with a custom home, right? I didn't even think I would ever work with like a, a production builder who builds thousands of homes a year because I didn't want to deal with like, you know, which doorknobs and which cabinet hardware you want. Now to some people that sounds great, but most people, and I hesitate to say this, but it's true. Most people that have been through that process are like, Oh my gosh, I'll never do it again. Now, they might say, I'm glad I did it, but I never want to do that again. And a lot of people would say, I, I will never do that again. It was a nightmare. Now, before I go into what I've done, because I've done it, we're building the house. But before I go into that, let me say this. We are going to have my builder on the show probably in the next couple of months to talk about the process. Our process has been excellent. Uh, we are glad we are doing this. But I swore I would never do it. I told people, oh, no, I'll never build a house. I like old houses. I like remodeling old houses. I've remodeled dozens and dozens and dozens of old houses. Hundreds if you include all the clients we've helped. Maybe thousands. And I still love old houses. But it's been pretty great. I'm pretty excited about this house. Here's the thing. To be, to save for years and years and years. To live beneath our means for our homes, for all of our adult life to have been smaller and more modest, which by the way, we've loved has allowed for us to build what is truly our dream home right now. Now, as a Christ follower, I'm twisted all up in my head and my heart on if there's, if there's wisdom in this, but we have sought wise counsel. We have prayed through it. We have thought through it. We have saved. We've been as careful as we can. And we're really excited to build the home that we're building and to share it with our friends, our families, the ministries we love, our friends, family, neighbors, kids, friends, family, neighbors, and I, I pray daily that this house would be help our ministry to friends, family, and neighbors. That it, it we don't need we don't need any we don't even need what we currently have. We don't need this house. We don't need the land we have. But um, I think we're I think we're supposed to steward it 
in a way that when people are in our home, they feel safe, they feel comfortable, they feel loved, they feel encouraged, they feel invested in. And because of those things, I'm really loving this home building process. Now, we will have the builder, our builder on the show. We'll tell you who he is, what he does, and all those things when we have time to really dig it. We'll do a whole show on, on building. But what I want to share now is I said I would never do this, and I said I would never do all these other things. And either education or life stage or maybe even spiritual maturity has changed. Like I've changed. I have changed. But also the market has changed. Our family size has changed. Our financial situation has changed. So what I'm learning, Courtney, is not that I'm going to do things I said I would never do. But I think you know where I'm going here. I'm probably going to stop saying never so much. I don't know if there's a life lesson in that for you, friends, but um, I think it's safe to say things like I'm never going to murder anyone, um, but I'm going to stop saying I'll never do that in relation to my real estate and investing. Um, if you have questions about what you're doing related to your real estate and investing, um, give us a call, 214-310-0008 for the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Or go online to TatramaniTeam.com. I'm not finished with my why I'm building a new house and what I'm loving about it. But I do want to tell you about Home Serve Home Warranty. A lot of times we tell you they're great. We give you their phone number and we keep rolling. But big picture, I think home warranties are important. Um, a lot of people have had frustrations with home warranty companies in the past. So if we have hunted down and vetted a home warranty company that we really like and trust. And we've liked and trusted them for about 18 years. Um, home serve home warranty takes really great care of their clients and they take great care of our clients and you can find them online at homeserve.com. Christine is our go-to contact over at home serve. She's wonderful. They're wonderful. Having a home warranty, especially the first year or two you're in a home will help you sleep better at night. We'll save you money. And just those little knickknack things that happen to the general basic systems in your home as you're getting to know your house, how do things work? What's working correctly? What has been kind of plugged and MacGyvered so that it just still works by the previous owners, and now we need to get running right? Go to homeserve.com, ask for Christine, tell them Todd Tremonti sent you, and think very seriously, especially those first couple of years in the home, about having a home warranty. Homeserve.com. Okay. Um. One, one or two other things I've loved about the home building process, especially custom home building, is we are building the home not just around like our people, right? You know, I've got three kids, one wife, that makes five of us. How many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? But we're building it around our lifestyle. We can fit our lifestyle into a mud hut if we needed to, but we love to host. We feel that God has gifted us with a desire and an ability to invite others in. So we're building a little bit bigger home than we previously would have. We are thinking about when people who are not in our family are in our home. What is their experience going to be like? How do we deliver this? How do we help ministries we love raise money? How do we use our land and our home to have eternal impact? How are we going to use these bedrooms after our children have moved out or no longer live with us permanently or whatever that looks like. And that has allowed us to really in an exciting, positive way, reevaluate our entire lives and our stewardship of all of our time, talent, and resources. And to think about our lives in an even longer term, right? I'm like, I don't want to build this house for these kids that are going to be gone at that point if we don't know what we want to do with it then. And it's encouraged us to think about foster care, adoption, sort of hosting ministry staff, friends, nonprofit, uh, people in need for a short or long-term period. So anyway, the process of building a custom home is helping us build a custom life, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm getting a positive nod, yes. And it's got me more excited about the next however many years I have with my children all together at home and then eventually probably all gone from my home. And it's helping me get really excited as opposed to just honestly kind of sad about even the life stage after that. There will be things I will love 
about kids are grown, gone, they're independent, hopefully really healthy. And my wife and I, you know, get to lean into each other a little bit more. But there's also parts of that that are super sad. And now we're thinking in a really excited way again about, hey, we're going to have this space that we thoughtfully, even years ago, built for this reason, this after young children reason. So anyway, I don't want to belabor the point, but it's been really, really fun. PMR is putting the roof on it. Uh, Patrick Glaros is doing the mortgage for it. Reinhardt Service Company's literally out there right now doing electrical and heating and air conditioning. Who else? Um, Keen Landscaping. I'm actually meeting them. I just met them this week there and meeting them again next week there. Um, I trust the people I tell you about. I use the people I tell you about. Um, and if if not, I wouldn't tell you about them. Uh, DP Lambert's doing the insurance. Our public title is closing the deal. Um, I could keep on going. So uh, I just want you to know that we would not tell you about these people if we didn't use them. Keen Landscaping, um, uh, Landscape Lighting, Shrubs, uh, Seasonal Color, Tree Work, um, Walkway, and Regular Maintenance at more than one property. Like, Almost everything they offer. Design and consultation, landscape construction, landscape maintenance, retaining walls, irrigation, tree work, and more. All online at keenlandscaping.com. That's K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. And tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. Actually had a quick conversation with one of the owners over there this week. And um, good people. Okay. Uh, you, You hear me talk about PMR roofing all the time. I think about PMR every time the weatherman says heavy wind, heavy rain. And I kid you not this week, the weather person that I follow the most this week said baseball sized hail. I don't think we got any of it, but they were worried it was coming. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I need to text all of my clients, be the first ones that call and be the, and call PMR roofing first before your insurance people. So listen, Crazy North Texas weather, you need to have PMR Roofing's phone number in your phone. It is 972. No, I'm sorry, 214-957-0839. And when you forget it just like I do, just go to PMRRoofing.com. PMRRoofing.com, tell them Todd Dramonti sent you. All right. Should we do another things I swore I would never do? Things I said I would never do that I have done recently. Let me think. What's another one? What have we talked about? We talked about, I I would never put in a pool, private school. I definitely, yep. I've done all those things. Listen, let me just invite you all into my like financial, spiritual, self control struggle y'all. And I, by the way, the the pastors that I have learned the most from in my life, the, the biblical teachers, and obviously I've followed Jesus in a moment, like as humble as I can be, a broken, foolish sinner saved by grace. And so I live a new life. I'm different than I once was. I'm still flawed in all those same ways, but I'm saved by Jesus. And so therefore my life is different. But that doesn't mean I don't struggle. That doesn't mean I don't still fear that I could slip back into selfish decision-making. So building a bigger home than we've ever had, I want to be really careful about that. I want to invite other people who know me, even who know my finances, know my marriage, know my parenting, into those decisions and say, is this wise? And for some of the reasons I shared before, the counsel has been that it is wise because of the ways we feel God has resourced us called us, gifted us, and given us a desire to serve other people. Are there some personal benefits? Yes. And that's where I'm like, careful. My point is the most effective leaders in my life, pastors and otherwise, are the ones that have challenged me to not run away from the wrestling, but to wrestle well. Does that make sense? What I mean by that is when things are hard and difficult and unclear, don't run away and do the simplest thing. But to stay in that, ask questions, research, pray, think through scenarios, seek more advice, ask others to pray, 
be open to counsel. Be careful with where you get your counsel, but be open to that counsel. And so because of that, I said, we're not big house people. We're small house people. We're not new house people. We're older house people. And the house we're building is not like outrageous, but it's the biggest house we will have ever lived in. <clears throat> and then I said, I will never tear down a house. Why would you do that? I mean, I would like buy a lot with a dilapidated house and tear that down. I would never tear down a perfectly good house. I mean, all these people in Highland Park and Lower Greenville and uh, parts of Richardson, what are they doing? Tearing down a perfectly good house to build a house they don't need. Well, Judgy McJudgerson over here has just tore down a house. And same thing, seek wise counsel. Look at the alternatives. What if we didn't do this? What if we did? And we came to the conclusion that I now am utterly confident in was the best decision. We were not going to find that a lot like the one we had with land like the one like we had in a location like we had anywhere near as appropriate of a financial investment as the one we had. Trust me, I looked at every angle and came to the conclusion with my wife, with wise counsel, with people who love us but are totally willing to call us on our garbage and said, yeah, this makes sense. And I sat in my truck and I watched an excavator rip a house that I had bought, updated, and added on to within the last decade, tear that thing to the ground. Now, that house had problems that were probably never going to be fully rectified and solved. But still, I said I would never do it. And I did it. The reason we're sharing these with, with all of you, our friends and neighbors, is you might have said, I'll never own a rental property. And maybe it would be wise for you to actually do that now. You might have said, I'll never add on to this house. And maybe that's the best choice for you. You might have said, I'll never live in that neighborhood. We'll never move for schools. And maybe you ought to seek out some counsel. And the conclusion of that counsel might be, you know what? You're right. You should stay right where you are. Or you should not spend that money. But maybe you'll learn, you'll end up like I did, realizing things change. The economy changes, life changes, families change, goals and desires change, skill sets change. Maybe there are some things you said you would never do, positive things, that you should reconsider. And if we can help you reconsider that, if we can be part of that wise counsel, people that can give you accurate, unemotional, thoughtful, caring, loving, selfless advice. I've done everything I know how to do to build a team of people that will do that with you, that will give you that. Even if it does not work out to our benefit, even if the answer is, you know what, you should not buy and sell. You should stay where you are and do this, which means there's nothing in it for us. I've got, I'm so proud to work with a team of people that will look you in the eye, shake your hand and tell you that, that will say, hey, this is not what's best for me, but this is what's best for you. If we could help you evaluate some of your I'll never do that's, just give us a call, 214-310-0008 or go to the website, toddtremontiteam.com. toddtremontiteam.com. You can set up a free strategy session, which means 30 to 90 minutes, either in our Fort Worth office in our Richardson office, or by Zoom, maybe even just a quick phone call. But typically, we want to see face-to-face -face and get to know each other a little bit. And we will help you answer questions, ask the right questions, get data, get some professional opinions, get some facts so that you can make the best choice for you, your family, and your finances, primarily around your real estate, maybe even how your real estate relates to your uh, investing in your wealth building and your protection and your assets and all those things. All you have to do is call 214-310-0008 or you can text 214-310-0008 or you can go online to toddtremonteteam.com or you can just Google Todd Tremonti, spell it as close as you can, you'll find us and we would be glad to offer you one of those free strategy sessions. Republic title is as good as it gets when it comes to title companies in North Texas. about what, We sell a lot of houses. We sell hundreds of houses a year, which means sometimes we work with title companies that we would rather not work with. It just in the complexity of a transaction, 
we may end up having to work with it with a company that's not Republic Title. And way, way, way too often, it's a nightmare. I mean, literally, checks go into the wrong place. They call the buyer's agent thinking it's the seller's agent. They use the wrong documents. People are not legally I mean, it's a disaster. When you work with Republic Title, and we work, we've worked with them for decades, and the clarity, the class, the accuracy, the actual care and concern for people is second to none. If you're buying, if you're selling, if you're investing, if you're refinancing, if you're transferring title for any reason, you have to talk to Republic Title. Start with republictitle.com, republictitle.com. If you haven't evaluated your insurance in a while, DP Lambert is the best we've ever found. Better coverage, more coverage, saving you money at Goosehead Insurance is DP Lambert. You can contact him at dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Just email him, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Any of the experts we talk to or talk about on our show, are on the website, patrimonyteam.com. Click the radio tab. You'll find all of them there. If you're ready to buy, sell, or invest, and maybe even do something you said you would never do in a good way, go to patrimonyteam.com, and we will get you taken care of.